Ugh. Hello and welcome to my channel, Boo Snakes and More. For more videos like this, also watch my other half channel, a and Snakes and Stuff, my youngest son's channel, Henny's Toys and Games, or my oldest son's channel, Little Chris 10. Today we're going to be talking about the state of Illinois, so please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Let's dive in. Workers in the airline and shipping industries could soon be granted paid leave through legislation advancing in the House, in the Illinois House of Representatives. House Bill 4596 passed out of the House Labor and Commerce Committee in a 1910 partisan vote and now heads to the House for a full chamber vote. Bill sponsor Republican Joyce Mason said the bill will be held on second reading to allow for continued conversations, which has received pushback from the Illinois Manufacturers Association. I believe that all of them already have paid leave in their contracts, Mason D. Garner said during the hearing. But the issue here is that without being under the preview of the paid leave for all bill, the companies that work they work for can still penalize them for taking that time. The bill is an expansion of the Paid Leave for All Act. Legislation signed into law last year by Governor J.B. Pritzker ensuring full and part-time workers can earn up to 40 hours of paid leave per year. Donovan Griff, Vice President of Government, Affairs for the State Manufacturers Association said that negotiations on the legislation took place over four years. And it's fine to form with enough carve outs for business interactions to move to natural and new beer effectively undermines these negotiations, he added. Airlines are heavily federally regulated. So during those discussions, we requested they not be included in the lawsuit, Griffin. Citing legislation that prevents states from pursuing policy impacting interstate commerce. That request was granted, and here again, four months later, we're seeing that change. Pay leave already applies to airline workers in Chicago, which applies to any employee working at least 80 hours for a Chicago-based employer within any 120-day period. Those provisions should be applied statewide, said Ron Starling, an MV Air, a subsidiary of American Airlines, employer at Wareard Airport in Champaign. My company provides paid sick days, but we cannot use these days consecutively without facing disciplinary actions, he said. Including airline employees in the Paid Leave Act will allow us to take necessary time off for illness recovery without fearing discipline. Thank you for watching this video and peace out till the next one.